everyone. Welcome to Quantum Phase Technologies. I'm Coreblade and I'm developing Tales of Nowhere, the video game. Now, last week we did... Uh, let me just get some music on real quick. Okay, so last week we took a look at the menu and we actually made a pretty significant change to the main menu, how it works, and how the graphics are displayed in there. And that's so that we could get ready for... Um, for a lot of NPCs that are created with the RPG Maker program. So I, I went ahead and made a, a change and instead of having the characters show up as, as um, full body characters, they're showing up with just their, their um, uh, face graphic here. So they're going to show up in, in there like this instead of what they used to show up as. And that's a bit more organized, and it's going to make it so that these characters that I generate from RPG Maker are not going to look really so out of place, because they used to look outrageously out of place. Now, we didn't finish doing all of them, so I'm going to convert Rylatar and... Um, what's his name? Galathil and Bubda. I still need to make those guys work for the menu, so I'm going to do that today, and we're going to start working with the NPCs and, and maybe even creating more for the towns, but I actually have a handful of NPCs that that um, are that uh, are in Ishmar, and so I'm going to place those and make sure that they work appropriately so that you can go to the town that they come from and you, you can uh, interact with them there. Now I hope that the stream is working okay. My internet connection is being very spotty right now, so there may be some latency, and hopefully um, it doesn't cut out or do anything super crazy. But I just thought I'd mention that because it might. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it works out okay. Uh, right now I've I've got my uh, stream up in a separate tab, and it looks like it's um, at least for me being extremely laggy. So it, it keeps struggling. It's very far behind. It doesn't say that I've even, you know, the, the countdown is still on the screen. So anyway, if I do cut out, I'm not necessarily going to know about it. So there's that. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So here's what the graphics look like now. And in game, uh, in the menu, it looks a lot more organized, especially when there are four characters side by side. It, it just looks a lot more structured, a lot more organized, and I think it looks a lot better. And, and especially where these face graphics are concerned for the the NPCs, it's going to look a lot better. So let's convert Rylatar. This is the, the face menu template, so I'm going to open that up and I'm going to get Rylatar all set up in there, as well as Galathil and Bubda. Alright. I'm just going to wait for this to open. There we go. And I should have all of the layers set up. Here we go. So I just need to bring in their faces and just kind of adjust them. And since we're doing um, one of the the uh, awesome pieces of art by Joshua, I'm going to pull up another one that I've done just to make sure that we get it uh, a good size. So I'm going to open this up in GIMP and just bring it over here. Where did that go? Okay, that went all the way down there. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to bring that up to this layer. And it looks like we just need to increase the size a little bit. Maybe. No, actually that's that's pretty good right there. Okay, so I just need to sort of center him a bit and then we'll be just fine. Uh, that looks about right. It's okay if some parts are getting cut off a little bit. Um, that should be okay. So his his top knot's gonna get cut off just a, a tiny bit. I know that's that's um, it has significance having the top knot cut off, but anyway, this this is just a, a tiny titch just for the graphics. So it's that that's not the same thing. Um, so what we're gonna do is take this. I think is where it's at. Um, I need to remember exactly how I was doing all of this, and then I'm gonna invert the selection. Mm. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, we, we've got this. We're, we're getting there. I had this all down. It, it was it, it was going pretty smoothly last week, so now I've just got to get back into it. All right, I'm going to export this one. And it was that one, Actor 8, Bound Faces 3. Okay. And that'll be good for Ilatar. Then, like I said, I'm just going to do this for Galathil and Bubda, and then 
then these ones will be done and when I make new NPCs I'll just bring over their face graphics and, and I'll scale them and make them work too. And that will be really good. That'll work out really well. Let's just uh, go ahead and open Vubda up as well. And we can just do it all at once. And nope, that was not what I meant to do. Let's see. I want to I want to select none. Shift Control A. I thought that's what I did. Oh no, I did Shift Control S. All right, so. Now we're going to get Galathil in there and move him over. Cool. Okay. Now his whole face is going to fit in there just fine. So we'll get that in there, no problem. And we'll just do the same thing. Control I inverts the selection, and then I can just do this. Easy PTK. We got it. That works marvelously. Okay, export as. He was 12 and Bubda is 15. Okay. Gonna replace that guy. And I've already backed up what used to be there so that I don't override anything. You know, just just in case I make some like huge mistake and I'm like, oh man, that's awful. It shouldn't be like that. Then I can go back and grab the original graphic that was there. This one specifically. If if I um go back in I'm like oh shoot I, I needed you know more of his shoulder guard or whatever then I can go back to the old one and, and that's not a big deal but <laughs> Bubbed is going to be interesting in here I think I think he's going to be kind of he, he might be a little hard to place actually I might have to make him the ad I'm going to need to make him smaller which is okay because he's, he's smaller he's a little goblin so we're just going to shrink him down a bit. I'm going to make it, I'm going to sort of match his eyes with Galathil's eyes. The size of him. So do something like that. That's okay if, if part of his ear is getting cut off. Maybe that's too small. Is that too small? Maybe it's not up high enough. Here, let's put it up higher and do this. Oh, there. That's a, a bit better size. But I think I've pixelated it because of, well, it's already pixelated. Yeah, I need to go back and, and take a look at that. All right, so I'm going to move this guy over. There we go. Something like that. All right, let's, let's just try it out and see what happens. I think that'll work out okay. Yeah, I think that's going to work out. All right. Go ahead and do the same thing. Invert the selection. Select him. Delete the rest of it. And that's okay. Um, let's export as said he was 15. Got him. Okay, awesome. So we've got everybody in here set up just the right way. That's really good. So now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to copy these guys and paste them in Faces 4. Because Faces 4 actually does kind of the same thing. I'm not even sure what the difference is. Like, I, I don't know where Faces 4 is pulled up, um, as opposed to where Faces 3 is pulled up. I, I actually don't know what happens. All I know is that the these Faces 4, they have a capital A for actor. And I think that matters. So anyway, I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to paste all of those in there. And then I'm going to go through and just, just to make sure, I'm going to rename it with a capital A. Just to make sure that we don't mess something up. Because we might mess something up. And it doesn't look like it's changing, but it actually is changing. I've, I've seen this before. Um, for some reason, it's not showing the update here in the folder, but if I refresh the folder, then you can see that it's updated. It's it's kind of weird. It doesn't, and I don't know if that's just a, a bug with Windows. I, I'm guessing it's just a, a minor bug in there somewhere, but it, it just doesn't update automatically. But if you refresh, then it shows that it has updated. So it's kind of weird. 
So even though it's a lowercase a after I've changed it to uppercase, I know that it's changing. I'm just going to keep moving along. Then I'll hit F5 at the end and just verify, just make sure. So my my stream for me is still going very slowly, and, and I'm guessing, I, I hope that this is the case, that it's just... It's just being slow for me because my internet connection is having a hard time getting stuff through to my laptop. But I hope the stream is going out okay. And not just like, you know, gi giving everybody a really hard time. If it is, this video is going to be pretty bad. Not not that great. But that's okay. I also need to improve my, my audio. The, the laptop microphone is super good, but um, I, I would like something like this this lapel mic, I, I think that would be even better, but I have not ever been able to get this working with OBS in a satisfactory way. All right, all of those are updated. So we've got faces three and faces four all updated to reflect this new style. And we're gonna use that moving forward for everything, for all of the actors that we put in place that can be part of your party. And that'll work out pretty good. So let's get, mm, I have two of these open and I'm not sure which one is which. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's kind of funny. Let's take a look at this guy. Fine, but there better be good pay involved. I, that's, that should be the updated one. Yeah, no, that's the old one, so let's get rid of that. Just to be sure, just to be sure, I'm going to reopen the project and make sure that we're on the right thing. So yeah, that's the right one. Okay. I just want to make sure that we haven't uh, ruined anything. That would be awful. Okay, so let's go into here. These um, these face graphics actually are also going to need to be changed. Now I have it for Isaac, Kieran, Hondo, and Thane. <laughs> Copernicus Strat does not look right. Um, Angie, I don't have a face graphic for her, which is interesting. I thought that I did. There is actually a face graphic that works for her, and I think it's... No, it's not one of the actors. It's one of the people. I think I think there's like um, people. Here we go. Uh, that one right there. That's that's Angie. There we go. See that? I don't think she has a battler though. I don't think there's any battler for those the the uh, normal people. And I don't think we need a battler for her anyway. That's okay. So right now I'm just going to go through, I'm going to make sure that we've got all of the graphics set for all of the actors that we have so far, and make sure that everything's consistent throughout. And like I said, I don't think we need a battler for for Angie. Now, Ed Hart has um, some graphics, but his face graphics graphic needs to be updated. Um, the character and battler are going to be the ones generated by RPG Maker, but we actually have a face graphic for Ed Hart. And... Let's take a look. I actually don't know where I've stored that. Um, let me see if I can find that. Resources. Looking for their busts. No, it's not in here almost. There's the TI-12. I remember that guy. Oh, here he is. Yes. So, Ed Hart is, is in here. And uh, there he is. Happy as can be with his tarts, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to open this up in GIMP, and I'm going to use this for a couple of different things. What am I even... Where is the open... There it is, open with Kali. I could not find that menu item. All right, so we've got this guy, and... Um, now we need to open the images, and what we're looking for is the faces, and we're looking for Ed Hart. Good. So we're going to open this up with GIMP as well, and we're going to replace what's on there with uh, the, the proper drawn one. So we're going to go over here. Now, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to zoom in just a little bit. We're going to show the grid and snap to the grid, and then images... I'm going to change the grid and make it, how, oh, what was this? I think it was 48, no, um, 144 then maybe. No, that was way too high. Yeah, 144 is the way. Okay, cool. So I need to grab this guy and that's huge. 
So we're just going to scale him down just a bit, uh, about to there. We're going to take a look and see if that works. You know what, let's go ahead and add him to his own layer. That's still way too big. It's getting close though. Scale this guy again. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, perfect. So I'm, I'm just going to have him just like this. Now, I actually kind of want to oops, wanna go back to the faces and open up one uh, where I've done the drawing, like Isaac and, and Hondo. Let's, let's just pull up Isaac, uh, open with Gimp. Uh, the reason why I want to do this is just to compare them. I just want to make sure that they're they're going to be about the the same in size. So let's copy this guy and paste him here just to kind of see about how. Yeah, see, he's he's a bit bigger than Isaac in in this image. So maybe I want to make him a little bit smaller. But I don't know. I think I think that's actually a good size. I might actually want to make Isaac and the others a bit bigger and. That might work even better. What is this? this? This I think is an old project, really old project. Um, so I, I think that might actually be better. You know what? I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. I'm gonna do a play test. Yeah, my stream might be really terrible because of that. That the. Uh, internet connection issues that I've been having. So I just want to take a look at Richard compared with the others. And so already I think I, I can see that it's just not quite right. Oh, well, these ones are fine. These ones are totally fine. The, the, where, where it's really noticeable is here. Because he, um, his, his face background is huge compared to theirs. So I think I want to actually increase the size of theirs, not decrease the size of these others because all of the NPCs are going to, uh, all of the NPCs that I create with RPG Maker are going to end up like this, this size. So I'm going to want to adjust their sizes to match that a bit better. Okay, let's try that. Dropped frames detected. Yeah, I think this stream is probably just not doing well. I think I'm just dropping all sorts of frames. Sorry about the internet issues, but I, I will keep I will keep trucking on because I've got work to do, and I don't have viewers, so that's <laughs> it's. But um, it, it's not it's not because of the drop frames, but I'm just saying it, it doesn't really matter because the frames are um, not all that important if nobody is looking at them. All right, so I'm going to take a look at... No, 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 I, I want to stay here. I want to keep these where they are because I'm going to be using the rest of them. All of these in D&D, &D, including Ed Hart, what I want is this one, the faces. Yeah, so I actually want to change Isaac and Hondo and Thane and Kieran. So I'm going to open these up. And what about King Lancel Rufus? He's probably okay. There's Kieran. Let's open her up. Open with Gimp. Okay, now I just need Thane. On oh, Rylatar too, I might I want to take another look at as well. Wow, all right, so we're getting all of our graphics sorted, so everything looks a lot better now. And now let me open somebody who should be here, like, for example, the one that we were looking at. Um, well, we could use Dax, even. Yeah, let's just use Dax. Because he's right here, and I, I've still got his face as, as this one. I still don't have a, a Joshua-drawn version of Dax, um, but I haven't asked for one, so I should I should uh, ask and see if Joshua's up for drawing a Dax. I'm sure he will be. He's, he's been so good about that. When I ask him if he can draw something, he's usually more than happy to. He's a pretty good guy. They all are. I, I, I know these... Uh, the the people that that uh, do the Tales of Nowhere podcast, and they're pretty awesome. They're all pretty cool. So what we need to do is kind of match them a bit more to, to Dax. So I'm actually going to 
kind of redo all of them. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. So, just so that I, I can have an easier time um, saving it out, I'll, I'll bring Dax over here and I'll add him there like that. And actually, let me put him below. And then I'm going to match Hondo to him. So, I need to grab Hondo's full, full um, thing. Now, oh, here's the thing though. So, Joshua actually went through and, and uh, drew versions of these guys in the D&D universe, which is, is super cool. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to swap them out necessarily for the D&D universe. I just don't know if, if I will be able to exactly. But that would be really cool if I can swap them out for, for each universe. But anyway, that's something else. Um, let's go back here and let's kind of take... Uh, I don't know where they are. I think... Oh! These might actually be them. Let's see. Isaac, PNG... Whoa, no. There, yeah, see, there, there they were all of them. Oh, that's one of the earlier versions. Oh, so cool. So cool. Wait, what was that? I don't even know what that was. Okay. Expressions... So, neutral expressions, nope. Neutral open original, maybe? Oh my gosh, I've, I've lost all of the ones that I've done. Now this is the new thing, this is the updated one. Maybe I need to get him in here while I'm working with all of these graphics. The thing is, I haven't, I haven't uh, vectorized this one, that's, that's part of the problem, but maybe I just do that. Here are the characters vectorized. Oh. They're all the SVGs right there. Okay. Man. This is kinda nuts. So I wonder I wonder if I can open these vectorized versions in, in GIMP. I just I can't remember exactly how I did this. So let let's take Hondo Vector. Let's drop him in here and see what happens. We're just gonna drop him right in. Boom. There he is. That looks really good, actually. I think that works out great. And uh, this Hondo, I'm going to get rid of. And let's see, let's see what we can do with this guy. Okay, so I'm just shrinking him down just a little bit. Move him around. Yep, needs to be smaller. That's about right. I, I actually, I don't think that's quite small enough, but I, I mean, it's getting closer. Hmm, there we go. Okay, so let's do it just a little bit more. I think we're about there. See, his hat is, is very big, but it's not going to show up in everything. See, I, I'm trying to match sort of their, their eyes and their mouth, just, just kind of their, their basic features matching the the size because the rest of them is kind of out of proportion but I mean he's, he's got an ear his face it, it looks like this is matching up all right actually now yeah. yeah I think that's gonna work out okay it's kind of matching up pretty well so there we go his his face is bigger now and I think that's gonna work better in the game let's see if we go to the game let's go ahead and open this up I just want to see kind of what it is so it goes all the way down to his elbow, and his gun is fully in the frame, so it's most of his hat. Now in this one, his gun's totally cut off, some of his hat's cut off, and his elbow's way below the frame. So I think I think this is a little bit better. I, I think this is going to, to look better compared to everything else. I just want to make sure his face is kind of in the same general place. I think that's actually going to do it about, and that's about there. <laughs> I know I'm doing this a lot. I know I just I just want to take it all in and make sure it's working okay. I think that's actually going to work out okay. And here's um, here I need to snap to grid and show grid and we will configure grid. And I think we determined this was 144. That's perfect. So what I need to do is grab this in here like that, and the snap to grid helps me with this one. 
invert the selection, and we've got Hondo selected. We're going to delete everything outside of there. And that's perfect. I, I think that's going to be better than what used to be there, the little Hondo. Now, it's not much different. It looks blurry. It looks blurrier because it's an SVG. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be noticeable because of how small it's going to be on the screen. It's going to be smaller like this, and that, that actually looks really good. Okay, so I think that's going to look a little bit better um, for like the safe screen and, and that sort of thing. Okay, good heavens. Let's let's try this. Let's go ahead and overwrite Hondo PNG, and that's a bigger Hondo. That's really cool. All right, let's do the same thing with Kieran. And so let's go ahead and snap. I, I should really make this default, but I haven't. That's okay. It's, it's easy enough to change. That's all right. So now we just need to grab this guy and bring him over here. Great. Go ahead and make him a layer. And then on Hondos, we're going to hide him and bring Hondo back. So we can kind of compare that to, uh, compare that as well. Okay. So we are going to just do the same process. We just need to find where we have all of our stuff vectorized. So I'm going to grab Kieran Vector, drop her in there. Good. All right. Uh, some of that's missing. That's going to be okay though because it's um, that's going to be uh, below the visibility point. So. That'll be totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna scale that down. And getting her face to match up is gonna be a bit different. Her face has a, a, a different shape. It's gonna be a little bit harder to match that up size-wise with the other one. That might actually work out okay. Alright, I think that's going to be alright. I want it up a little bit more, but I, I kind of, I really want her hair and her horn in there because that's, that those are the, the distinguishing features, but over more, I think, is where it's supposed to be. Yeah, we can go over and, and up a little bit more, and I think that'll match more closely. Like I said, mostly it's the eyes and the mouth that I kind of want to match up, and if I get those, then, then they're generally going to look... Um, uh, pretty good. They're, it's not going to look out of place if, they're, if their faces generally line up and, and their eyes and their mouth, it's, it's a good way to determine how they match up. Maybe she needs to be a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. There we go. We'll scale that down and see how that works. I think that's going to be a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. Still not necessarily perfect, but I don't know. I think it's as close as we're getting. All right, so let's go ahead and fix this and get it saved out. Just overwrite Kieran.png. Perfect. All right, now it's time for Thane. So let's grab this guy again and drop him in here. That was not right. Um, that's why. Okay. We've got him in here now. Um, Thane actually doesn't look too far off already. Let's move that down. Yeah, he's still too small, but he's, he's actually not too far off, which is kind of cool. Alright, so we're going to go over to this one and grab Thane. Oh, let's grab Thane B. That's right, because if we've got Thane B vector, we do. Like, he's vectorized. He's there. He's already set. We've got to get him in the other artwork. Alright, so we're going to get him in here. Where else do we need him? We need him a lot of other different places, especially for the the body um, so that we can do the, the uh, what's it called? 
the the dialogue busts. That's the main place where we need him, so that every time he speaks, it, the dialogue bust will reflect the new look. That's better. Okay. So that's something that we're going to need to do. Let's get his his uh, dialogue bus taken care of. Ba -ba -ba. But we're taking care of this one right now, which is great. This is a good good time to do it. Good chance to. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, nope, needs to be a bit smaller. Not too much, but a bit. Yeah, I'm really just kind of eyeballing all of this. You know what? This might help actually. Bringing this down to where his eyes are. Bringing this down to where his mouth is. That actually makes it look like it's pretty much spot on. Maybe, maybe a little bit, a little bit smaller than that. Scale it because if we have his, kind of goes through. Anyway, yeah. See that? That looks better. That looks about right. It's looking pretty good, actually. All right, I've got to get rid of these. Now they're distracting. They don't. They don't look great. They're they're distracting me. Yeah, I think that matches up pretty well. Although he can he can be bumped over just a little bit. Not too much though. Just a little. Okay, great. I think that's about as good as we're getting. So let's just save that out. But we need to clean it up just a little bit. So do what we have been doing this whole time. All right. Sorry, I got this uh, in my eye and dry eyes. Oh, that fan is still on. Interfere with the audio. All right. So we're gonna copy this out. Invert and delete. Okay. Now he's clean, and we'll save him now. Override thing. Perfect. Good, and this is the new thing, that's really awesome. That's gonna be really good. So we've got Hondo uh, Kirhan, great. Now we've got Thane and um, Rylatar we need to also take care of. Uh, Isaac too, where, where did Isaac go? You know, let's take care of Rylatar and then we'll, we'll take a look at Isaac. Okay, so we'll do this one, and Rylatar is too small, just like the others, and wasn't put in there quite right either, so that'll be great. So I'll grab Rylatar Vector, drop him in. This is all actually working out pretty well. It's it's taking a, a bit of time to get this all worked out, but that's, honestly, that's game development. It, it takes a lot of time to do some pretty simple things, actually. Okay. Especially when you're trying to get them right and you're a perfectionist and you're like, oh, it's got to be absolutely perfect, then it takes a bit longer. So he's actually kind of close. His face is matching Dax's pretty well already. So let's just move him over. Yeah, I, I think that size is actually really good. That's like, it's almost spot on. Yeah, see, I, I have it bumped over just a little bit, but I, I think overall the, the size is really good. Maybe it's still too big a little bit. How does it look compared to the other ones? Yeah, maybe it's still just a little too big. Let's, let's shrink it down a bit more. There we go. Yeah, that's going to be a, a little better... Maybe it's a little too small. Oh man. Did I just... Is that where it was? Okay. There we go. We'll shrink it down, but not quite as much this time. There we go. I, I think that's better. That's looking a bit better. Okay. And it is going to be over a bit more, but that's alright. That's that's um, how this one's going to balance. Okay. Because he's, he's facing the other direction. But I think that looks good. I think that's going to work. And let's let's go ahead and start prepping for saving it. Um, okay. 
configure grid. Okay. Now let's get rid of this guy and just see if that's yeah, see he's not he's not really there. That'll look better, even though that's a bit lower than Dax, but that's okay. That's right, that'll that'll look a little bit better, lowering him down a bit. Balancing him out. Great, okay, I think that's good. So let's go ahead and save this out. Do 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 and there's perfect. So we're gonna overwrite Rylatar. Excellent, now we just need Isaac. Where did Isaac go? There he is. And open with Gimp. <laughs> so what is that? Um okay. So we're gonna drop Dax in there for reference. Yeah, Isaac is very small compared to Dax like this. Tiny. Alright. So we are almost there, this is really good. It's actually really good going through and cleaning up the graphics like this, making them more consistent. Everything is going to be more consistent. That's going to just be so much better, and it's going to make it so that it's it's not nearly as hard to incorporate all the other graphics into it for all of the other NPCs. And that was something that I, I had been worrying about for a lot, uh, for a lot of time. It, it was a a big worry of mine, but now I feel much more comfortable about it. Let's go down to two, around 290 for width, that's, ah, whatever. That, that's around where the others are, I think. Good, yeah, I think his face is matching Dex's pretty well, actually. I, I think that's really good. Here, let's do this a few times. Maybe, maybe a little big still. Maybe. It does need to go up a little more. I don't know, maybe maybe it's not too big. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, maybe that's alright. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the grid. And snap to grid and configure it. Okay, mm. so my eyes are, are super dry, and because of allergies have, have been dry and, and itchy and all of that great stuff. If you have allergies, you know how it is. It's not pleasant. Maybe down just a little bit more. There we go. It's better to, to feature more of their head and not... Not quite so much of the rest of them. Alright, cool. So I think this is pretty good. So I'm going to... Um, oh yeah, that's right. I don't remember what I'm doing. Invert that and do that. Overwrite Isaac. Good. So now if we if we pull this up, actually, uh, play test of it, we should be able to see that already. I'm trying to pause the music. There we go. It, it now paused. So we should be able to already start seeing these... Uh, actually, maybe in here we'll already... Ah, yeah, see, look. There's Thane B. And, and yeah, I, I might want to move him down a bit more. Maybe that's not quite right. Oh, no, but uh, I mean, it matches that one, so maybe it's okay. Hondo was not updated. Kieran was. Isaac was not. Okay, so let's close that down and open it back up. There's Hondo. I think Isaac is, is set to Isaac, Kieran, Hondo, Thane, good. And and they're they're matching the sizes better with the, the rest of these. Galathil actually looks really good. His his size it matches really well. Um, wow, Vula has a gigantic headpiece. And Bubda, he is he is tiny. I think I should make him a little bit bigger, actually. I kinda want his ears to fit in still. Okay, let's take a, another look at Bubda real quick. Wait, where is Bubda's face graphic? Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to do a playtest, and then I decided not to do a playtest at all. Um, let's see. Okay. All right, so let's go to faces, and let's check out Bubda. Actually, I don't think we ever uh, looked at Bubda, so let's... 
Let's take a look at him. He's he's just being a little bit too small on here, so let's give him the same treatment as we did with everybody else. I think this is working out really well, so we've got him in there. Let's go to the vectorized ones and get Bub to vector. Good. All right. <laughs> That's a very large Bub. There we go. Um, no, that was not the right one. Oh, it's because he's not on his own layer. There we go. And. Bubdo we actually want above him. Ah, there we are. Okay, so now we can scale Bubda down a bit. There we go. This this one's gonna be really tricky, because Bubda has such a differently shaped head. So maybe the size that he was at before is about as good as it gets. No, I, I think this is actually a little bit better, because it's it's larger, and that's good. That fits the aesthetic a bit more. Maybe a little bit smaller. Let's try it, just a little bit. Not much, not a lot. Okay, we're going to go ahead and scale that guy. He's still a lot bigger than the, the old one was, and I think using the vector art the way I am, I think is, is working out really well, too. Okay, that might actually be really good, just the way it is. Yeah, I think that's really good, actually. So let's go ahead and get this prepped to sync. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. It even fits within the square. I, I think that's going to work out better. That was close, but not quite. There we go. That's better. Invert and delete everything else. Excellent. Okay, we're we're good. We're doing really good. Uh, I think we have everybody that that I want to take a look at. Because, like I said, looking at all these other ones, I think they're pretty good. Yeah, there's Bubba bigger already. That's really nice. Nope. There we go. So there's Richard Bubda, um, Bula, Galathil, Dax. Okay, and and everyone everyone seems like they fit a bit better. Kieran and Hondo might be a little too big though. Might want to decrease their size just a little bit more. They might be too big. I, I went from too small to too big. Especially Kieran, but maybe Hondo too. All right, let let me change them actually just a little bit because I do feel like they're just a bit too big. All right, so let's undo that. There, get Kieran back to where she was. Um, a little too big, right, is what I was saying. So let's go ahead and, and grab Kieran, and let's shrink her down just a little bit more. That was not what we're looking for. We want to have nothing selected so that she actually gets decreased inside. 298, actually, I think that's... About where the others are, that's good. That's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna pull her over and down just a little bit more so she's not filling the frame quite so much. Okay, and I think that's going to be a bit better. Let's compare that to Thane. Yeah, I think that's better. Cool. Do that invert, delete. Okay. Let's try that one again. So over right, and Hondo I was thinking was a little too big too. Yeah, he he looks a bit too big in there. Okay, so we're going to just shrink him down just a little bit too. There we go. Not too much, just a little bit. So he's not quite so crazy huge in there. All right, good. I think that'll be a bit better. Cutting off a lot of his hat. That's okay. His hat named Rope. Alright, so let's go ahead and resave that one. 
It looks like I'm glaring. It's it's mostly because I'm squinting, just trying to see the screen through my my bleary uh, allergy dry eyeballs. Because that's what happens with dry allergy eyeballs. Overwrite Hundo. There we go. Okay. So I think this is going to be really cool. Let's reopen that and see. Ah, uh, yeah, Kieran's looking better already. So we've got Isaac, Kieran, Hondo. They look better. They look a lot better. Okay. I'm pretty satisfied with how everybody is so far. Um, maybe Bubda should shrink too. Okay. All right. Let's just let's shrink Bubda down just a little bit too. He's he's just a little too big. Also. He's, he's supposed to be a little guy. He's a goblin. A little goblin. Uh, there we go. Let's, let's just nudge him over here just a little bit. Okay, that's that's going to be better. He's still not as small as his, his tiny counterpart. So that's good. And in fact, maybe we should... Maybe we should move him up just a little bit more. So he matches the others just a little bit better. Okay, great. That's close enough. We're good. We're good. All right, that did not make it. There we go. And invert, delete, and we're saving him out. I don't think that is reflecting the changes. Let's try that again. Oh, maybe that is reflecting the changes now. Yeah, okay, so I, I think everybody's looking pretty good now for all of the face graphics. Okay, so now the next thing I want to tackle is Thane. I want to make sure that I get his his graphics updated for everything else. Oh, I need to do his uh, character and battler to match the new graphics as well. So I think Let's take a look at that first. So I think I already saved him out. So I'm going to load settings and hope that I have it. No, I do not have that here. I, I wonder if I still have that somewhere, though. I might have to recreate it. And that would be irritating. But, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It, I, I can do that, and it's all right. Um, I just hope I don't have to. Right, I'm just going to poke around a little bit and see if I can find um, maybe an old version where I actually did save him out. Let's let's take a look at this. Yes, I, I did. It looks like I saved him out on one of these. Whoa, yeah, I, I saved a bunch of stuff out here. That's kind of interesting. Um, get more key. Yeah, I didn't carry all of this stuff over. Uh, but that's okay. It's all right that I didn't carry it over. So I'm going to load these settings, but I'm going to load it from one of these other ones, like this. Uh, the it tells it nowhere the video game working, which actually isn't working. This one's broken too. I have two two broken tells of nowhere the video game uh, things. Now I have Thane Thane two and Thane three and Thane alt. Let's look at Thane alt. <laughs> nope, that's not the right one. Uh, let's try some of the other ones. That that was one version. That's that's how I envisioned Thane at one point. I was just like, maybe this, maybe this look okay, but it, it didn't look right. I was just like, nah, 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 that does not look right. So let's just try typical Thane. Nope, that was when I had him looking like that. Very, very hairy. And then I was like, wait a minute, elves are typically hairy. Let's look at Thane 2. And let's wait for it, apparently. Oh. Is it? <laughs> um, that's not good. Alright, I'm going to close this. I'm going to try that again. Nope, it's still thinking. Oh, it's Something's happening. This is having a hard time. All right, let's let's just try this again. Let's go to Thane. What were we trying to open Thane to? Oh, 
All right, we might need to just recreate him. Which might be pretty tough, actually. Maybe it's looking for some things that I don't have anymore. Maybe I don't have all of the stuff that I used to create him the first time. No, yeah, see, I don't think I have everything that I had imported before to create him. Because I recently reset the computer, now I, I don't think I have all the settings. Okay, so we're, we're going to do that another time. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm actually going to close out of it and reopen it because it, it seems to be struggling quite a bit. So hopefully this is going to fix it, maybe. It looks like it did fix it. I just want to make sure that this is the right one, so we're in there, yeah, we're going to reload the project. Okay, so I'm going to have to take a look at that uh, later. I'm going to have to make sure that I import all of the character creation assets that I had before so that I can load the, these other ones and get the Thane character back in. So I won't be able to do that right now. I won't be able to, to fix his character battler at this moment. Yeah, I think it's the hair that is doing it that's um, not working out right now. So I won't be able to do that, but I will be able to update his his um, dialogue graphics. So let's do that right now. And that is actually close to this. So it's not faces, but it's going to be in here under characters. It's not going to be under characters. It's going to be here under pictures. Yeah, all right. We got it. Okay, so we've got um, this one right here is his his bust, um, right? Wait, no. What is this? What what are these? Oh, that's for the menu selection, I think, or the the character selection at the very beginning because the the bust graphics are cut off here um, toward the legs, so that's. Yeah, that's a different thing. Cool. All right. Um, oh, but he's got expressions. Oh, so we're going to have to, like, redo uh, the expressions. Okay, anyway, we, we can at least update this graphic. Open with... Give. All right. Cool. Okay, so now we just need to bring in the new one and overlay it on, on this one and make sure that it's looking right. Thane B. There we go. Okay, so now we just need to resize it so that it, it matches this other one. Okay, we're going to need to go smaller than that, I know. But we just, we just want to... Let me do the shift S gives me the scale tool. There we go. If I learn the, the keyboard shortcuts, it might be a little faster, a little easier. I know that M moves the image around or, or gets the like movement selection thing. Okay, that's really close, but I, I don't think it's quite there. I think it needs to be a little bit smaller. I don't want to go too small because then I need to just undo and readjust it. So there's the recolor, you can tell. I like the new color, I think it, it looks really good. Still a little big. Oh gosh, these eyes of mine. Especially when, when dealing with graphics. Now it's going to be a little bit more blurry because I'm using the SVG directly. Is it close enough? Maybe it's close enough. Oh, but if I take him away, I take his shadow away too. Oh. Now nah, he needs to be just a little bit smaller. Just, just a little. Just a hair. There we go. Let's try that one out. We've got to align him pretty much.
Okay, I, I think that's right about where he's supposed to be. Oh yeah, that's pretty much exact. Yeah, like I said, it's it's a little blurry because I'm not taking the SVG and outputting it as a PNG at the exact size. But I think this is okay. I think this is close enough and... Ah, oh, I apologize. My eyes are not doing well right now. <laughs> I think this is close enough. See, I can't tell if the blurriness is my eyes or if it's the graphic, but no, I'm, I'm kidding. I, I can tell that it's the graphic, but, but I don't think that that's going to be an issue. I don't think that that's going to be noticeable. Uh, I think it's going to work out just fine. So I think I can just keep doing this with the other vector artwork that I make for the rest of these two. I'm almost tempted to just leave it just like this so that the shadow is there and I don't have to recreate the shadow because he's overlaying the top of the other guy well enough. What's that little white spot down there? Oh, it's transparency. Um, should we just take the little eraser tool? Boom. That, like, undid most of it. Actually, that's... Uh, that might have fixed it really well, actually. <laughs> no, 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 let's, let's undo that. Because that's not quite what we want. Um, we're going to drop the size down quite a bit to about 10. And there we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. It was just kind of a, a, a very glaring thing. Other than that, everything else is, is looking really good. Yeah, that's almost better though, e even though it's a little blurrier, I, I think it's almost better, like the lines are smoother, everything shows up even better. Yeah, maybe I should do the same treatment on the rest of them. But I'll be doing it for any other, any future ones. Anyway, th this is good. This this is set. We're good on this. Uh, overwrite Thane 1, and we've got it. So now his dialogue bust is set, and it's the new graphic, and that'll be really good. Now. The one problem with this, though, is his expressions. I won't be able to pull in other expressions for his dialogue bust, which I will probably want at some point. But I'll I'll see if Joshua's up for creating some new ones with Thane version B. So anyway, Thane, we've got his graphics figured out, except for the the actual character sprite, and that's because I'm missing a lot of pieces that. I need to incorporate into the the uh, character generator graphics. I think I have those. I, I'm pretty sure I've got those backed up somewhere. I hope so. If not, I'm going to be doing a bit of searching online so that I can find those and uh, get those back on there again. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's. Uh, I'm actually going to refresh the page that I have my stream going on just to see if it has caught up at all because it looks like it's still struggling quite a great deal. And yeah, it's all the way back where I was doing Rylatar and making those work. So anyway, it's still struggling. This this uh, stream may be struggling too much to even be visible, viewable, but. I'll just keep trucking along because I've got a lot of work to do. Okay, so everything's looking good so far. Everything's looking um, great, except for Thane. But like I said, I'm going to fix that later. And Copernicus is not looking good. So let's see if we can get some Copernicus stuff. Nope. Okay, so we need to fix Copernicus's face graphic. Where is Copernicus? Tells damage. No. Tells of nowhere. There he is. That's that's Copernicus. Okay. I think I even have Yep. I do. I've got a battler for him. So I don't know why Copernicus was so different. Um why why I didn't have these because I had these set for him before, but um then they weren't there, which is kinda weird. 
That battler doesn't look quite right. It doesn't match that guy very well. Odd. Anyway, um, or maybe it's that guy that doesn't match well enough. Like, his hair is not white. Is his hair supposed to be white? Okay, let's take a look at Copernicus's face graphic, actually, and that's going to give us a good... Oh, yeah, so it's, it's kind of dark with sort of white on it. Okay, anyway, uh, here's what we need to do. We need to go to Images and Faces and pull up Copernicus. Copernicus. Nope. We need to pull it up in GIMP. Well, at least we're going to have all of these graphics finalized, set up, and, and in good shape. And that, that's going to be pretty wonderful. So we've got Copernicus here. We need to go back to... Nope, that's not the file. This one. And grab the Copernicus vector. Good. Okay. That's exactly what we're looking for. Do, do. Okay. We'll go down to, what was it, about 290-something? Well, let's go to 321 to see what happens to it. Yep, we need it a little bit smaller, so we're going to go down to 298, I think, is about where we have the other ones. So we're going to scale that down, and it looks okay. It, it, it uh, looks a little too big, actually. Let's scale it down even further. Copernicus has a big head. Uh, two, let, let's try 280. Scale. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's still like big. Alright, let's go down just a little bit s smaller than that. See, I don't want to go too small though. I don't want it to look weird. Um, I think that'll work though. Let me just see. Yeah, I think that'll work out okay. Um, should we lower him just a little bit so his hair's in it completely? Nah, no, nah, I don't think it, it really matters either. Okay, I think that's good. That would be very good. Okay, let's save him out. And configure grid. Okay, his ear is getting cut off just a little bit. Maybe I'll bump him over so his ear doesn't get cut off completely. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work out great. Um, this pencil's not going off of the other side either, so I think that'll work out marvelously. And let's override Copernicus. Yep, that's good. That's really good. Okay, let's try this again. Take a look. There he is. Those, those changes are fantastic. So this guy needs kind of darker hair for his battler. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at Angie. She doesn't really need a battler. Edhart, I need to... Uh, that's right, I never even... I started working on him. I never even finished him, did I? There he is. He was the first one I started with, and I just went on to all the other ones. Why did I do that? Because I decided to make them sized differently so let's undo that just a little bit so I want to make sure that he's his face is small enough and yet big enough at the same time just like everybody else so we're going to shrink him down that might actually be really good that I think is really good I think that's the the right size for him. See that? Matches his face pretty well, I think, actually. Pull him over here. There we go. Okay. He's just such a happy guy. I love it. I love that heart. Is he too big still? No, I, I think he's okay. I, I, think, I think the sizing is actually alright on this. Um, yeah, I think the sizing is okay on this one. Okay, so let's get this one saved out too. Uh, overwrite at heart. 
Okay, fantastic. All right, let's take another look at this. There he is. <laughs> so this character in the battler is close enough. A lot of these things are just going to kind of have to get close enough. There's uh, Riles, King Lancel Rufus. I have an image for him. I have I have a, another face graphic for him. So let's pull that up. Um, we'll take a look at faces and... He's in here somewhere. There you are, Lancel. Let's open with... Yep. And then we're going to pull in his graphic, and that should be right here too. That should be vectorized. Yep, there he is. Well, it's actually, we can take a good uh, a look at this list. So we've got Bubda, and we have um, his face. That's right, Copernicus. We've got his face on there. The Crone of Manderwick, we don't have her face on there, but she's, she's not a recruitable character. I'm, I'm going to leave her special because of her special nature. She's she's not a recruitable character. She's not someone that can come with you or come back to the cafe. So I'm just going to leave her as is. Um, Edhart, we just finished up and saved that out. Hondo is done. Isaac's done. Kieran's done. No, sorry. King Lancel Rufus. We're working on him now. Kieran's done. Rylatar is done. And Thane is done. So King Lancel Rufus is the only one left. And here we go. That's that's good. Um, take him and shrink him down a bit. There we go. Let's go down to two two ninety eight or two ninety nine. All right, let's go two ninety eight just to see what that's like. Because a lot of them are two ninety eight. Uh, that's actually matching up really well, well, almost really well. It is still a bit too big. But that's close. That the face that I was able to that so so this is actually really good. The face I was able to generate with RPG Maker is is um, very similar to what Joshua drew. It's it's very very close, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think that works fantastically. I mean, that, like I said, these, these look really close. I was able to get a, a very close approximation with RPG Maker, which I can do sometimes. Sometimes I can get pretty close with it, and it's delightful. Other times it is not close. Like Edhard, I can't, I can't actually get all that close with that character. It just um, doesn't quite look like him. A lot of the other ones I can do just fine. Okay. That'll work. Alright, so let's take a look at them. Let's see if that updated. Nope. So we'll go close that down, open it back up. There he is. And it looks better. Look, see that, that crown matches that one really well. The, the battler does not match because I, I didn't... That crown did not, uh, it didn't transition, translate to that one. So yeah, the battler does not look near as good, but the character himself it looks great. So that's pretty nice. Man, what, what can we do with that battler? That's just not very wonderful, but that's okay. Nadax, we do not have a, a hand-drawn version of him. Galathil, we do, and we've got him in there, and he looks just, he looks great across the board. Vula, we do have Vula, though. Um, there's Bubda and Richard. Okay, so they're all good. Now, Vula, we've got, so let's take a look at her graphics, too. Let's go down and open up Vula in. Yep. So that's her with a frowny face, and that's her yelling. All right, so let's see if we can get... Um, I don't know if we have Lula vectorized. But I think we do, though. So D&D... &D, 
So if we look clean, I think that's part of it, but I, I think I think it's not exactly right because it's not the vectorized version of it. So we, we may want to fix that. Anyway, for now, let's just see what we can do and get her face in there. There we go. I need to shrink this so much. Maybe that's too much. Okay, let's try that out. See what happens. Yeah, I think that actually works out pretty good. Okay, I think that'll work out pretty well. Awesome. Okay, so that is there, and let's let's go ahead and do this and just make sure that this will work. All right. Do this rectangle tool. Okay, I think that's good. That'll work out pretty good. And I'm actually going to copy and paste this. What just happened? <laughs> There we go. Okay. So I don't know if I actually use both of those different expressions, but I'm going to put this in here just in case I do. And I don't know that this even matters, actually, because she's not ever going to be part of the party. Oh, well, it's done. I did it. It's done. And there she is. So that works out okay. Man, she, she is quite a bit different, though, from from this and, and that version. Maybe I should change her character a bit. You know what, that's actually something that I might do. I'm going to bring this over here and I'm just going to snap it to the side. Um, there, I'm just going to come out over here like this. I'm going to get the character creator I'm going to snap this over. I can't snap it, but that's okay. If I click on that, yeah, then that goes away. Alright, so that's not actually going to work, but I'm going to grab this and make it smaller. I'm going to put it over on, on the other monitor so that I can take a look at it. Okay, I'll snap it to the other monitor screen. And then resize it. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I, I'm going to take a look at her and see if I can get a better version of her. In fact, no, that's not what I'm going to do. Let's just change my mind all the time. I am going to do it, but I'm going to do it differently. So I'm, I'm just going to open this up like this as a picture, and that's going to be better. That's going to be a good reference for her, and I'm going to take a look at it. I don't even know if I'm still streaming. Is the stream even coming through? It says I'm still live. I don't know if I believe it. The, the Twitch, the, the stream on Twitch seems to have frozen completely, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Actually, maybe it's okay. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to see if I can recreate Lula and make her look a, a bit more like this. So first of all, skin color, she is purple. She's a darker purple than that. Nope, that's not quite right. Okay, so I think this is the best purple I'm going to be able to get for her. And so her... She's she's a little bit older. There we go. Not like a ton, though. Not maybe too much. Yeah, maybe just like that. Okay, great. 
so then her hair, the front hair, it's, it comes down kind of like that actually. See, look, I'll, I'll show you the, the picture for reference. So let's see what kind of hair. That might be a good one. Yeah, that, that might actually be the best one for the front hair. The rear hair, it's, it's a little bit shorter though, it looks like. Not that short. Now it comes down, kind of comes down either side. Let's see. Oh, something like that. Yeah, that's actually okay. The front hair is a little too too in the eyes, though. <laughs> that's way too in the eyes. No, it's it's a little messier than that. Like that, maybe. That might work. The thing is, uh, she's gonna have a hood, also. Uh, it's not quite like that either. Now the hair is white, so I need to. Yep, there it is. Okay, that's gonna help me put it together a little better too. Oh, there's there are more options. That. Nope. Nope. There's just too many too many like hairstyles that come in front of the air ears like like that like in in front of the cheeks too. And that's not quite the way Mula's working. You see that. So her hair is coming in front of her ears, but not in front of her cheeks. There, there are too many hairstyles in this, in the the uh, character generator that do that. Just a little too messy. Yeah. I don't know. That that might be the best one we get. Okay. That's in the eyes more than I would like it, but it's fine. Now she is a drow woman. They have pointy ears, right? Yeah, of course they have pointy ears. They're very elf-like. Now she is very angry. But it's more of a wide-eyed anger. I don't know if I have any of those. This is complete loathing. <laughs> nah, okay, so we'll leave it like that. That'll be good. Um, eyebrows. She's got uh, very angry eyebrows. Yeah, that's starting to come together. The eyebrows are dark, though. Nope. So I guess the character generator is gonna have have just the. It's gonna have what it has. She doesn't have a nose. She just doesn't even have one. So I'll make a a little nose there. And she's like shouting and stuff. You know, honestly, this this little graphic down here, this is actually what I really need to go for. This is what I need to look at the most. Now she has purple skin. What about Rylatar? What did I do for Rylatar actually? Because Rylatar has he has dark purple skin. His his skin is even darker purple than hers. But what did I do for the Rylatar graphic? Alright, let's take a look at that really quick. Nope, that's not enemies. I want characters. Oh, and I didn't sort these all that well. Um, Tales of Nowhere, D and D. Okay, I think this is where he is. There he is, right there. Now, see, that's the thing. His skin kind of—it it looks gray. It's not—it's not purple. Hmm. So I made it kind of a gray. See, the thing is, she's she's just a little too bright purple on here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, and see that—that's just too dark. But she's not gray either. Okay, well, this might be close enough. I think this is going to be okay. Alright, so now we need to get some clothing, right? Alright, so her clothing, she's got kind of a, a dress on, a purple, purpley dress like that. Not really, that's a little too 
is more more like a gown so it's kind of like that one only purple very very purple about something like that I just want to match it up the best I can this one this one is very purple I, I really like the purple color on that one <laughs> no is that just kind of a normal dress yeah might be a little bit more of what we're looking for so sub color and make purple two sub color two like that actually let's take a look all right uh, that does not quite match either what about that one? Oh, that might be that might be it that's a little bit better yeah see it's not quite though Now, how do I have her set up um, with a battler? Okay, let me, let me take a look. Side view actors, I think. Let's see if she's in there. Uh, there she is, yeah. So that's how I have her set up as a battler, but but yeah, see, she just doesn't even match. She just totally doesn't even match. Okay, so I think we are getting close. It's it's gonna be something like this. Maybe something like this, because it, it looks more impressive as a character if, if we do something like this, even though it doesn't quite match her, her clothes. I mean, it doesn't match her clothes at all. She, she's got sort of a, a flowy dress. It's not, it's not armor, but the armor looks more impressive, so I don't know. I could give her full-on golden armor. But see, this, this dress is not near imposing enough let's see main color yeah see this this dress just is is not even imposing enough it, and it just doesn't look right either oh this one's really good actually i think i looked at this before and, and uh kind of wrote it off yeah, this one might be really good. So let's let's take a look. The main color there, the sub color is yellowish. And that one is here, let's let's try purple for that. Wait, so so everything's purple. Let's look at sub color one. See I want kind of some of the golden highlights that she has on her dress. So you see she's got kind of, kind of these these um, yellow or golden highlights on there. I, I kinda of want those, but they need to to be kind of in the right place. Nope, that's that doesn't work. I can't even tell the difference on that one. Oh, it's that back part there. Okay. So that's that's not it either. So I think the best we're gonna do is not that one. I think the best we're gonna do is this. I'm afraid that highlights too much. What, what if we make the main color yellow? No, see, that doesn't work either. Okay, great. So I think I think we will go ahead and highlight this with yellow, and that should be pretty good. Now her eye color I didn't change. I need that to be violet. Can you even tell? She She's very purpley. Now see these I want to be nice and light violet and I can't do that and I want her body to be a, a very dark violet color. Can't do that either. Alright, so this is more kind of purplish reddish. There we go. I think that'll work out okay. Now she needs a cloak. Oh, we don't have a good cloak though.
Um, that makes it look like she has a little bit more of a, a flowy dress-like thing going on. But we, we don't have a hood uh, for her cloak, which is something that we need. She can have a witch's hat. There we go. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's something. It's not quite right, though. Not that easy. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's as close as we can get it. Yeah, because it's, it's nothing else. Okay, until we get some more pieces in, I think that might be as close as we can get it. But let's go, let's go through and hit the rest of these and make them purple. So it's, man, that's all just so very much purple. That's just a lot of purple going on there. She's got the white hair and she's got the yellow, so... I don't know. Anyway, that's... That's as close as we're getting for now, I think. Which is gonna be okay. Maybe I need to make that more... bluish. No, no, no. Like the main color. Does that look... Nah, yeah, see, it's, it's just a darker purple color than her skin. Which, I, I mean, it is. This is a darker purple than her skin, so... That's okay. Maybe I can leave that little blue in there just to kind of break up the colors a little bit more. Or black? No, what's...